Hey, what's up guys? So we're back over here at the homestead. I actually started off in a different place today. We're in the back of the field. Uh, today's plains were actually ruined. As we got here, there was unexpected rain, or at least to my knowledge, we had no clue it was gonna rain. We were actually supposed to go ride in and explore some of the, the trails out back. I did mention I have five acres back there. And yeah, we were just gonna explore it. I never really had time to explore it. And uh, today was gonna be the day. But as you guys can see, it's super rainy. And of course, it's super muddy. That's exactly why I, I, I named the channel Muddy More Ranch. It's like, it's, it's ridiculously muddy back here. Uh, when I get heavy rain, actually, most of this turns into a deep puddle, about six inches or so. So later down the line, I might dig some type of ditch and create some type of like natural pond, maybe three feet, four foot deep. Um, I can get water from there later on. Maybe if I get livestock, uh, that could be their drinking water, you know, after testing it and, and whatnot. But yeah, uh, today plans were ruined of going rioting and finding some trails. We actually did go back there and um, we had to turn back because it was just too much rain. And as you guys can see right now, it's actually raining pretty hard to the point where droplets are getting you wet. We do have raincoats, which is necessary here. And I do have, uh, I forgot the brand of these boots. Mucks, I believe. Yeah, these things are amazing for snow and rain. And of course, cold weather. Like I mentioned before, I do shoot back here. You guys can see that was a 12 gauge. This is the small little backstop I have for, for shooting. I actually don't need a uh, backstop because that's sloped up. That's my property. Like I said, I have about six, five acres this way. It's a weird shape because it goes that way and then it shoots out that way. But I'm not worried about that. That's my property. And just for safety reasons, there is a small backstop. I don't shoot too high, but maybe later down the line, I might put some targets up there and uh, clear some more trees this way so I can, I can shoot over there. And um, maybe teach my younger cousins how to shoot or have some fun back here some manly fun um but yeah like my previous video stated i'm trying to clear from there over there my house is somewhere right over there i want that soup cleared out so i can like i said see the house from back here and i want to be at the house and see the field from over there weather sucks today we're out here trying to have some fun uh, it was either riding ATVs or having some fun shooting some guns. But with the prices of ammunition at the moment, I can't just be throwing dollars away, especially when I'm trying to renovate the, the property. But yeah, I guess you guys could say this is part two for the tour of my house. This is the back of the field. I was videotaping over there somewhere last week. And maybe within a year or so, I have to fence from here all the way over there and from over there all the way over here. Um, I do want to have crops in here and I do want to have animals. And I don't want any predators eating my livestock and I don't want no deer eating my crops. So electrical fence or wooden picket fence, that work out perfect. This, this spot here actually too, it's, it gets like two feet of mud. It gets pretty deep. I mean of uh, water. There's no water here at the moment. But when I get heavy rain, it gets super muddy. Super, um, I mean, super deep. I usually get a bunch of deer over here drinking water. And of course, I will be hunting this property. I do have my firearm permit. And I did acquire my... Deer, perm deer hunting permit. So opening season, opening day, I believe is December 3rd. Uh, definitely gonna have to camp out here. 
so I can I can get some some deer meat. I do have a couple friends that go hunting. We'll be out here. Hopefully we catch something. There's always deer here. But yeah, guys, nothing crazy today. We're gonna wrap it up today. Nothing major. I'll include some clips of us having some fun on the ATVs. And of course, thank you guys for watching and the very few people that have subscribed. Thank you guys very much. And like I said, stick around and tune in. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Uh, of course bringing up the tractor and the day goes by it's not raining anymore it got pretty cold out the sun's coming out well the sun's actually setting and of course it never fails we always have some type of vehicle stuck over here in today's case it was my brother's f-350 power stroke and of course bobcat ct4045 we're here to the rescue um hopefully i don't get this thing stuck because if i do i don't have anything else that will get these vehicles unstuck so uh let's hope this turns out well 
This thing basically, uh, the front bumper is almost touching the ground. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys.